Hey guys, <laughs> this week's vlog is gonna be the worst one of them all. Today's Friday, yeah, Friday. Friday is when I'm starting this. This is just like incredible. So I finished filming, I was filming a couple of videos now and I finished filming so I decided to just get on camera real quick because I literally don't have any footage for the vlog this week. Um, I, I've been doing my 30 day makeup declutter. I wanted to comment that on you to you guys and it's getting harder and harder guys. Like I have bins here and um, it's just getting harder and harder because every day it's not like you have, for example, day 17, 17 and then day 18 you just add a product. It's 18 whole new items like so tomorrow, which is going to be day 19, I have to add a whole other 19 items to the product. So it's so crazy, guys. It's so crazy. Like, but it's been great. I've been loving doing this declutter because I definitely needed it. And I know and I'm pretty sure that I have enough products to do this with. And if not, I have to get strict with myself and get rid of stuff because I definitely need this to happen. Like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm already on day 18 and I will show you guys the bin at the end of day 30 of all the stuff that I'm decluttering I've been decluttering a lot like I've been decluttering several palettes you know things that are very hard to get rid of but this declutter has been helpful and it's been forcing me to get rid of things that I need to get rid of because it's just too many products so yeah guys i'm excited i'm excited because this is a challenge i've been doing two challenges this month both have been a 30-day challenge and so far so good we're on day 18 i've been uploading every single day on my channel and i've also been doing my declutter every single day so i'm super excited that i've been keeping up with my challenge and um i just feel very accomplished and very proud of myself and you know guys i kind of wanted to vent with you guys really really quickly okay so i was talking to my friend the other day um there was there's this person that i follow on on instagram and guys i people really don't realize the power of having a big platform and it's just so insane to me the things that i see people say on these platforms like i was so annoyed um, I don't really want to go into the subject because I don't want people opinionating things here because this is not what it's for, but I just think that people need to realize the responsibility that they have when they have a big platform where a lot of people follow and a lot of people listen to you. If you're going to express your opinion, make sure that you express it as an opinion and not express it as a fact because this person was literally expressing her opinion, which, to be honest with you, in my opinion, in my opinion, and I think this is a fact, her opinion is ridiculous. But whatever, it's her opinion, you know, it's her, it's her right to have it. But literally this person was spitting her opinion as if it was facts. And the problem with that is that people that are not educated or don't know what you're talking about, they will see this and take this as facts. And you just can't be doing that. Like you have to realize and understand. And you know, like, I don't know. I, I just get so annoyed when people talk garbage. I just can't, I just can't stand it, <laughs> but I just wanted to vent real quick with that. I'm not even going to go into the subject. I, I already vented with one of my close friends and we talked about it and stuff like that. But I just wanted to say that because I think it's important that if that people know that when they have a large platform, you should be careful what you say on there. And you know, and when it's your opinion, it's fine. I mean, it's your opinion. That is your right. That is what people fight for in this country. So we have the right to our own opinion because God knows that my family came from somewhere that you weren't allowed to have an opinion. So it's very important to have an opinion. And I don't care when people spit their opinion. I just don't like when people want to spit out their opinion and try to make it fact because that's not the way it goes <laughs> that's not the way it is and you got to be very careful about that 
so yeah that's what this person was doing like she was literally you know saying that these that these things were facts and these are literally her opinion but anyway let's move on <laughs> So yeah, guys, I'm here. I'm going to clean up all this mess from filming. You guys haven't let me know what you guys think of me uploading every single day. Have you been liking the content? Um, let me know down below. Let me know anything you want to know. I've been wanting to film a Q&A. I haven't filmed a Q&A in the longest time. It's been forever, I think, that I haven't filmed a Q&A. And I kind of want to do that. I don't know if I should just ask you guys to leave me questions down below so I can film a Q&A soon. Maybe that would be good. Leave me whatever kind of questions you guys want to know and maybe I'll get that and film a Q&A. I've also been wanting to do a tag video. Do you guys remember when tag videos were popular? Like I really loved tag videos. Whenever you when on YouTube back in the days whenever you didn't know what you were going to film or anything like that, it was just get a tag video. Everybody enjoyed them. Um, it was always nice, you know, like it was questions and answers pretty much about whatever topic it was. And everybody enjoyed them. Like nobody does tags anymore. And I, I've always loved tags. Like I've been trying to find one and I can't find a good one because all the tags that I look for are super old. They're super old. So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I guess tags are not a thing anymore. But I used to love them. I don't know. I don't know why people don't like them anymore. They're, I, I, I love them and they were easy videos to film. So a lot of people used to do them whenever they didn't know what to film. Uh, on another note, I don't even know what to talk about anymore, guys. I got my nails done today. I got this nice lilac -y color. I don't really, I don't like lilac so much on my nails, but this one is kind of cute. So I was like, okay, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. <laughs> I'm going to get into the neons and all that stuff like in July. July is my birthday. So I always like wearing like a hot pink or something like that. Like a, you know, like a very nice hot pink color. And then like maybe like a neon yellow or something. I love all those things for the summer. I like having my nails like depending on whatever the season is or like if there's a holiday or something like that. I never do my nails like 4th of July because my birthday is very close to the 4th of July. So I never wear my nails in like flag colors for that because I kind of want like hot pink, you know. So I never really have that. <laughs> I never really get 4th of July nails because of that. Yeah, guys, there's nothing else to talk about pretty much. I've just been like talking randomness right now for the past eight minutes <laughs> this could be a good vlog <laughs> all right so hopefully i'll film something tomorrow so i can at least have some content for you guys i'm sorry that i didn't film until today friday for this vlog it's just been a crazy week for me so yeah pretty much it <laughs> all right my loves i'll see you guys later